a little attention whore and he wanted me to hold him. So I suppose he wanted to say hi. Did you want to say hi to YouTube? Why are you always licking me, boy? He loves when I like rub his chest like this. He gets so sleepy. Sleepy. Why don't he be licking me in the mouth? I know they say that y'all's mouths are cleaner than humans, but on the real piglet, I've never had the desire to lick my own balls. I don't have balls. Do Okay, you guys, so today I'm going to be doing a full face routine using drugstore products. Yes, girlfriend, I said a full face routine using drugstore products. I don't know who told you that you couldn't get a beat. <laughs> a beat face using drugstore products, but I am here to set the record straight because, girlfriend, if you know how to do it, you can make it do what it do with whatever products that you have. So yeah, don't get it twisted. Don't get it twisted. You can do it with drugstore products. So yeah, um, the foundation that I decided to use in this full face routine is the Revlon Nearly Naked. And it looks like this. Now, I know a lot of people have been complaining saying that this makes them oily. I haven't noticed it. I will say that it matches my skin really, really well. And I have the 260 Caramel. And so far, I've just noticed it to be a really good foundation, especially if you set it with a good powder. It's just going to really lock everything in. And, of course, it's what I'm wearing right now. And I just really, really love it. So, yeah, I used this and... Um, I haven't been using it for that long. I've only used it about three or four times, but every time that I've used it, my face always looks pretty flawless. So, yeah, I'm going to say that I like this. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and say I like it. I know that there's been, like, you know, mixed feelings about it, but so far so good for me. And I use this new um, powder, or it's new to me because I've never seen it, but when I was in Walmart, I was just browsing the makeup section, and I saw this powder. And you know I love some cute packaging. You already know it. So when I saw this, I was like, ooh, that is pretty. Let me see what it is. So yeah, it's called Flower. And the color I got is like 0, wait, 301 or L03. Yeah, L03. I think I was calling this 301, but that's actually L03. But yeah, I got this color. It's a little bit too dark, but of course, you know, I just kind of made it work. Overall, it seems to be a really good powder. I just wish they had more colors to choose from because I think that there was only three. L02, L01, and L03. So yeah, if they had more colors, it would really be a good powder because the packaging is really cute. So yeah, that's what I used as far as foundation and powder. And I also included the blush, lipstick, contour, and all of that. I didn't do the eyes, but um, I will do a drugstore eye tutorial really soon. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this look, and if you would like to see how I got it, then of course, just continue to watch. Alright you guys, so we're going to get started. I've already did my brows, and if you would like to see how I do them, I will put a link in this video, and I will also put a link in the description box. And I've already did my eyeshadows because I usually always do it first just so it doesn't interfere with my foundation if I have any fallout. So first things first, you want to moisturize your face first. Um, a really good moisturizer from the drugstore is the Clean and Clear Dual Action. I will put a picture in this video if you don't know what it looks like. Um, yeah, so I've already moisturized my face and now we're going to be using a primer. And this one is from e.l.f. and it's a silicone based primer. But I'm just going to take a little bit bit and I'm going to apply this to my nose right here in like my cheek areas on my chin like right here where you have smile lines you smile like me a whole bunch and a little bit on the forehead and down the bridge of the nose so yeah you just want to make sure you rub that in really, really well. So now we're going to begin applying our foundation and I'm using this Revlon Nearly Naked and I'm in 260 Caramel or Caramel. And I'm going to use this brush right here. It's just a flat top brush. I'm gonna take the foundation and put just a little bit 
on the brush. We're going to begin working on our cheeks and doing circular motions. So yeah, like that. And you just wanna do that until the foundation is just really blended into your skin really, really well. So I did have for my face, as you can tell, and it's just a really good foundation. I love the finish of it. So I'm going to take the um, foundation again and just a little bit, like not a lot at all. You just want to take a little bit. That's about how much I have. And you want to start doing the other side. And you just want to do circular motions. And sometimes I notice like the further away I hold the brush, the more flawless and airbrush my foundational look. So sometimes I'll start off really close just to make sure that I'm getting it blended in really well. But after I've gotten it blended in, I'll actually just hold it, you know, further away and just do circular motions to give it more of an airbrush effect. So yeah, I'm just gonna finish blending this in really well. And then I'll go back and like, you know, try to make it look a little bit more flawless. So now that our foundation is applied, I'm just going to take some concealer and this is the Maybelline Dream Mousse and it's just a like moussey um, consistency and I got mine from CVS but um, I'm just going to apply this concealer underneath my eyes just to give me a more highlighted awake look and I'm using a small concealer brush and I'm just going to tap my brush in the concealer and you don't want to pick up too much because you don't want it to look cakey. So you just wanna dab it under your eyes like so. And as you can tell, it's a little bit lighter than the foundation. And the color I have is Dark 01 Latte. So yeah, you just want to dab it under your eyes and do the same to the other eye. And now you can use your handy dandy fingers to blend it in because it's just going to warm it up a little bit and make it easier to blend. So. And I'm also going to take a little bit of this on my finger and apply it to my chin just to give my chin more of a highlighted look. But you want to make sure that you really, really blend this in like really, really well. So now I'm going to set everything with a powder and when I was at the drugstore I found this new brand called Flower. I'm not sure if any of you have um, heard of this. If you have then just let me know. I wasn't really sure about the brand but um, the packaging was really cute and I'm a sucker for packaging but um, I got this in the color 301 and it's a little bit too dark like as you can tell and it's a little bit orange but I'm just going to take a little like I'm not gonna take much of this at all just enough to set everything and you know just make everything stay in place like we would like so yeah I'm literally just taking that much and I'm just going to put it everywhere even on my eyes like even under my eyes And you also want to do it, and I'm just kind of tapping it, that way it actually stays where I apply it, because sometimes if you just brush it on, it kind of gets everywhere. So yeah, I'm just tapping it on my face like so. So now I'm going to apply a powder highlight, and this is the Hard Candy Tiki. I really love this one. I've been using it for a while. One of my favorites from the drugstore. But I'm just going to take this brush and just take a little bit and put it underneath my eyes and it's just going to give my face a little bit more highlighted look I'm also going to do this other eye my chin and also down the bridge of my nose so yeah now we're going to apply our blush and this is Berry Mary from e.l.f. 
and I'm using this brush and I'm just going to put it on the apples of my cheeks and the blushes are a little bit powdery but you just want to tap it and then tap off the extra we're gonna put it right on the apples and bring it up just a little bit and this is like a kind of berry color a deeper purple color it's just a really pretty color Okay, girl so now it's time to contour your face I'm going to be using the F contouring blush and bronzer and this one is in Turks Caicos and I'm using this really dark color right here and I've already applied some to my brush but you don't want to apply too much so we're gonna tap off any extra that we might have and you just want to start at like your hairline and bring it down So now I'm going to contour my nose using the same bronzer and you just want to take a little bit especially on your nose because you don't want it to look too obvious and you just want to start here and bring it down just go straight down just a straight line. to take this elf complexion perfection powder and it looks like this and I'm just going to apply it all over my face just to kind of set everything and just make everything just look really you know nice and perfect like we want it to look so again I'm just tapping it on my face I'm even going over my blush you just want to pat this everywhere and this is also going to keep down any shine Alright you guys, so that is pretty much it. So yeah, this is the completed look and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you guys for watching and I will talk to you next time. Bye!